Wolf gang done, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pound, puts news and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top, with brick by brick, we gotta build. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang done, you know it's real. Never chill, no. sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest builds inside 2K. So before we even get too far into the video, make sure y'all do me a favor, smash that like button for your boy. It helps your boy grow. We are on the grind to 5,000 subs this year, man. So for stamina, go ahead and max that thing out. I like to do the physicals first so the badges actually pop up after everything is done, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna take the stamina up to a 99. The vertical, we're gonna take that up to a 55 for the strength, max that out. Because this build will have a little bit of defense on it and you wanna make that little bit of defense as effective as possible man we're gonna take this acceleration up to an 87 you don't have to go higher than that just trust me man i make point guard builds all the time and that is more than enough to get the job done now for speed we're gonna take that up to an 85 you do need speed on these point guard builds then we're gonna jump to perimeter defense man we're gonna take this up to a 75 and the reason why we're going 75 is because we want clamps to be on bronze. You see, you get pretty much everything you need in the perimeter defense side, you get it on bronze, and that's decent. So for the steal, we're gonna leave that at a 37, but with the defensive rebound, you want that to be a 30. I made a mistake, went too high with the perimeter defense, but that is what it is. That's something to be careful about whenever you're making these builds. Make sure that you, you know, only putting up the stats that you wanna put up. Now for the speed with ball, because we want some of the best dribble moves in the game, we're gonna take that up to a 90. This will have your build being as shifty as possible, man. You're gonna be out there breaking people off. Now for the ball handle, we're gonna take this up to a 92. Some of all of the best ball handle moves are unlocked at 92. You got Trey Young's moves, Steph Curry's moves, and those are the best moves in the game. Just trust me on that. You got Steph Curry's escape that gives you that Curry slide at 92. Just trust me, you're gonna want that. Now for the pass accuracy, we're gonna take this up to an 84. I know you're probably thinking, why an 84, man? Because we gotta get dimer, we gotta get needle threader, relay passer, special delivery. You wanna have all of that on your build. One mistake I see a lot of people make on their point guard builds, they just don't put enough pass accuracy into them. You can get away with a 77, but if you wanna be elite at passing, take that thing up to an 84. Now for the free throw, we're gonna take this to a 78, man. This is a wreck build. You will need a free throw. Just trust me on that. You go on a free throw on your build. I prefer um, on my small guards, I do Steph Curry. On the bigger guards, I do like Michael Jordan or pretty much anybody that's big, I do Michael Jordan on. But for my small guards, I like how Steph Curry's free throw looks. Um, try it out. Let me know if y'all have any success with it. Now for the three point shot, we're taking that all the way up to a 94. And I know that is a lot to put into a three point shot. But the thing is about this three point shot, man, you're going to need agent threes on gold. To make a really good rec build, you gotta be able to shoot off the dribble, man. You're the point guard, so you're gonna be dribbling the ball a lot. Randoms love setting screens, so make sure you can utilize those screens, shoot off the dribble very well. And for the jump shot on this build, I'm actually just gonna give you a little tidbit, man. I'm gonna give you all the jump shot off rip. You wanna use Steph jump shot. It doesn't matter what releases you put on there. I prefer pure Steph, or you can go Steph Oscar Robertson. But either way, the cue is super easy. It's at the top of the jump. I use set point. So as soon as they, the ball gets to the top of the jump, you can go ahead and let that thing go. Now for the mid range, we're gonna take it up to an 84 because we do want to get midi magician. For point guards this year especially, it is very important to have a build that can do more than just one thing. You wanna be able to score on all levels. And speaking of scoring on all levels, we're going crazy with this driving layup, man. We're gonna take this all the way up to an 88. Now that does get you fearless. You get Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame, Slithery on silver, Acrobat on gold, Bunny, which is one of my favorite badges in the game. I'm not gonna lie to you, Bunny is dope. Get you those hop layups that go in at a ridiculous rate. We got Float Game on Hall of Fame. That's why we went for the 88, man. Float Game on Hall of Fame and 88 also unlocks Steph Curry's layup package, which is one of the best in the game. Honestly, they really gave Steph Curry a lot of the best moves in the game. I got a Steph Curry build that I'm gonna be dropping gameplay on very soon, man. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all looking forward to seeing that. But we also got Pro Touch and Scooper, man. If you're not using Scoop layups on fast breaks, you're probably getting your thing smashed off the glass, man. Make sure you're using those Scoop layups. It'll definitely get you right. 
Now, some of the other badges that we really didn't talk about much, we do get blinders on gold, dead eye on gold, um, catch and shoot on gold, green machine on gold. We get a lot of badges on this build for shooting. That open looks on Hall of Fame is gonna be just something disgusting. And spot finder. If you don't know how to use spot finder, I highly suggest you get into the practice silly. Go play some my careers. Learn to tap R2 when you off ball or RT when you off ball. Get that speed boost. It's almost like an instant open, bro. Like you will get open on that move. And of course, we do get break starter, touch passer. Touch passer is pretty dope, man. It does make your passes a lot faster. And trust me, that's something you're going to want to use on a build like this. We already discussed this 92 ball handle, but we ain't talk about the badge, man. We get blow by on gold, handles for days on gold, killer combos on silver. If you want to get that on gold, just take one away from speed from speed with ball, put that in ball handle, you'll be good to go. Now, speed booster, that's a very important badge. We get a pluckable on gold. Look, the steals are kind of out of hand, but trust me, they're going to patch them. And when they patch them, this unpluckable on gold will get you right. Angle breaker on gold, very good. Badge one away from um, the 93 ball handle. Once again, take away from that speed with ball, take that to 93 again. Angle breaker on Hall of Fame. Physical handles. Now, this is very important for my point guard. This is why you need strength on your point guard so you can get physical handles. It'll stop people from bumping you, you know, moving you backwards when you got the ball and stuff like that. So we can get you right. And then in order to complete the build, we're just gonna put 27 on interior defense. Not gonna give you nothing, but hey man, you got some extra points, why not put them in interior? And on this build, like I said earlier, we do get clamps, we get a silver off ball. Like this build isn't gonna be a liability on defense as long as you got a little bit of stick skill. Now the build seems like it'll be slow, you know, laterally, but 2K did us a favor, man, and they paired perimeter defense and speed to equal lateral quickness, bro. 2K Toots already did the did a little comparison, and as long as you got some speed, you'll be right. This acceleration, like I said, is more than enough. Get you all the badges you need, blow by, speed booster, and spot finder. Awesome, very good ones. That slippery off ball, man. That same time that you're pressing R2 to get open off ball, or tapping R2 to get open off ball, you will be activating uh, slippery off ball. That 65 does get that, that physical handles. Vertical, we really don't have much need for it, but the stamina, you will need that. That gets you handles for days on gold and it gets you workhorse, so I mean, that's good as well. But all right, man, that's pretty much it for this video. Let's talk about these shades up because I feel like the shades up on this build are absolutely insane, man. We got Nick Van Exel, AKA the first man to drop Kobe off in the league at practice, according to the Mamba himself, Trey Young, and Darius Garland comes out as a shot creating three level threat. A build that I haven't really seen many of, man. Let me know down in the comment section how you feel about it. It's your boy Don and I'm up out of here. But before you get up out of here, man, do me a favor. Like up the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you are this deep into the video, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. So go ahead and hit that button, man. Turn on post notifications. I'm dropping builds. Absolute bangers for the rest of 2K23, man. But all right, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy Don and I'm up out of here. Peace. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Guess that's why the 